Hey what's up guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can increase FPS inside of CS2 and also how you guys can decrease latency inside of CS2 as well. And just before the video starts I just want to mention I am a smaller channel so if you could subscribe I'd really appreciate it, thanks. So the first thing that we're going to do is just to navigate down into Steam and then just hit on Steam in the top left, then just hit on settings, then just head over to storage and make sure that Counter Strike is on your C drive. If Counter-Strike is not on your C drive, then go over to your D drive or your alternative drive. Then just select the game, hit move, and then move it to your C drive. I'm just using Neve Speed as an example because I already have Counter-Strike 2 on my C drive. I'll navigate back over to Steam, then hit on Settings, then Properties, then just do the Launch Options. So we want to have two Launch Options. Dash console and also dash high, which just makes sure that CSGO is running in high priority when it's run. Then we can just exit out of this. Now open up CS2, then head over to settings, then go to video and then advanced video. So you're going to want to copy the settings that I have here. So you want this to be enabled, disabled, and then you want to make this be on non, then high, medium, bare linear, low, low, medium, performance, then disable this. And for NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, in most situations you want it to be on Enabled and not Enabled Plus Boost. Now next you're going to want to open up NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to download it. It's going to look really confusing when you first load it up. However, just search up Counter-Strike 2 in this Profiles search box. And then we just want to scroll down until we go to 5 Common. And then you're going to want to make sure that this is on prefer maximum performance. And if you have an RTX 30 series card or above, you're going to want to enable this. You're going to want to put this on this setting and this on this setting as well. And then scroll down to memory allocation policy and make sure that this is on moderate allocation. If you ever want to restore these changes, just hit this button, hit apply and exit out. Now that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.